Um, this is the first uh, Asian Young Radiologist Forum, and I would like to uh, uh, share with you why we organize this and uh, how will this uh, proceed in the following uh, two hours. And when I was a resident, I read several uh, journals uh, from the internet, and uh, these are three of the most uh, influential journals. They are the AJR, Radiographics, and Radiology. However, I soon realized that all three journals are from a single country, which is the United States. And uh, that makes me think probably the United States is the most leading country in academic radiology. So if I want to have my article published in this kind of <coughs> journal, probably I should understand the difference between the United States and the life of Taiwan uh, as what I'm living every day. What's the difference to make uh, my work can publish in this kind of journal? So I have done a little search on the internet, and you, if you are uh, curious about the graph, you can go to the getminer.org, which is open source. Everybody can create a figure like this one if you have a laptop computer now. And I noticed that the uh, United States is the uh, yellow bubble, and the Taiwan is the red bubble. And the United States are making more money than Taiwan, uh, is almost always. But for health condition, this is a health condition and uh, as measured by life expectancy at birth, Taiwan is grow, uh, gradually catching up the United States and to now actually we are at the same condition for the people's health. So that means uh, in Taiwan we, we, have, we, we, we make less money as compared to the United States, but actually our people are equally healthy as compared to the states. So wh why would that be? So I look deep, deeply uh, into the issue here and notice that if we change the x-axis here, we make it a total health spending as percent of GDP. And we notice that United States are spending 16% of the GDP into the health. But for Taiwan, we invest only 6%. So it's a huge difference. That means we make less money and we invest even less money to the health, but the people in Taiwan is equally health. As the United States. So that's really changed my mind. And I think uh, how Taiwan does it. And then I do the Google and I notice there is a business net article says how Taiwan does it is seeing more patients for less. That means the radiologists in Taiwan, we read a lot of cases, we perform more intervention, but we get less paid and compared to the condition in the United States. So this is the big difference. And with that, in my resident year, I, I think since we are so busy, and that's why we can have such kind of health status compared to the United States, but we are really so busy. And it then made the academic uh, career possible. Do we have special resources for us to develop an uh, academic career in the future? And is there a specific strategy for that? And uh, do we face some uh, special challenges? Do we have some special opportunities? These are the questions I asked myself uh, in my resident year. And so we think, if you look at the bubble, you will notice that the uh, United States it actually is an exception is in the end. And the other countries, especially those uh, Asian countries, are all a group. So probably we should have some friends from the uh, other countries of Asia and also have friends from the United States to discuss about the difference and to think about how we we will uh, see the way uh, in the future. So we have uh, speakers from Taiwan, uh, Japan, South Korea, China, and also United States to share with this. And I noticed that uh, now we are have more participants now. And uh, since this is a small room and uh, uh, everybody get close, so after the speech, please feel free to ask any speaker or ask other uh, friends in this room uh, for uh, your particular question, please feel free to do that. So I would like to introduce the first speaker.